Hey everyone, Josh here. So today we are doing a new and improved diesel thermostat. So the last video we made this true on and off budget thermostat. It was about $15, um, but I had some very obvious flaws and those flaws have came true. Um, I've used it for about a month here now and worked flawless until last week. So the most obvious flaw that you're going to think is going to happen is I'm going to kill my battery, but that was not an issue whatsoever. I have a DC to DC charger, so whenever I drive, it's charging up the battery. And I'd also plug it into shore power, so out of that month, I never had an issue with any of the amperage. The issue I was running into was getting out of the range of these two thermostats. Happened about three, maybe four times, and three times were not my fault, and the fourth time kind of was my fault. So what was happening is so I got this one, turning on around four or five degrees Celsius. And this one's supposed to be turning it off around 15 or 16. So that last week I had lows at night, minus two, minus three, but then daytime highs of 10, 15 degrees. So you're gonna see what's gonna happen is at nighttime, this is doing what it's supposed to. The morning time, this shuts it off when it hits the target temperature of 15 degrees or so. The temperature in here might start dropping. It might get down to 10, eight degrees or so so it's in between here and neither of these two are commanding anything because it's within its range but then during the day temperature would start creeping back up and it would get above this temperature and remember this is what's supposed to shut it off but it was obviously already off and it was sending power down and turning it on so i was getting stuck out of its range so it was climbing up 35 40 degrees celsius when it was already 15 degrees celsius outside i didn't need this on but it got stuck so then i had to mess around, change temperatures, get it up out of its range, and then be able to shut it off. So that was a pain. Um, if you're gonna use this, maybe throw a toggle switch in on these two so that you can actually get this back into where it's supposed to be. The other issue I ran into was running my generator for my compressor. Uh, that made too much heat, same kind of deal. It got up out of its range. This tried to kick on, and if you see how I have it plumbed here, the generator exhaust will actually extinguish the flame from the heater. Um, I don't run the generator very often, but I can't run both at the same time and that's what it was trying to do. So this is a flawed system. I didn't buy these for the thermostat control, but I just thought it might help somebody out. It's only $15, it worked pretty good. I originally bought it for uh, some other projects here yet. So instead of these, we're gonna rip these out and we're gonna use the Burek thermostat. So it showed up, it had some issues with border patrol, I guess, but it's here now. So we're gonna go over uh, setting this up and using it. Okay, so this Burek CD thermostat, it's really simple to use. It's really, it's a simple design really. Uh, you just keep clicking buttons and it does stuff. They have a really good owner's manual and a quick start on their YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, just that changes your on off. You can hit that button. So the swing, so that'll be, so it should be turning on at 21 degrees Celsius minus six. So that would be 15 degrees. So you can make a bigger swing. That's what I was talking about here. You don't want the thing cycling all the time. So that's kind of the benefit of this setup. Uh, you can set your time, your heater, I haven't shut off. So it's gonna constantly be sending the off signal to the thermostat. So that way it doesn't accidentally turn on. I've had that a couple times where something's bumped the switch and in the middle of summer when I have no fuel in here, it's trying to run the pump dry. It's not really good for it. So that's a nice design. And it's also got a schedule you can turn on and off. So yeah, you can just keep clicking buttons and it does stuff. So there's the schedule. So that's gonna be nice. I think I'm gonna maybe set one timer to say turn on at 6 a.m. maybe melt all the snow off the roof, get it nice and hot in here. Um, and then these two buttons here went into a different settings. Yeah, it's just keep clicking buttons and it does stuff. So yeah, it's really simple design. So I've got the corded version. So they sell two designs. I got the corded one and the battery one. The battery one I think would work good if you're using this in like a camper trailer. You can just take this with you to your bed area and then it can keep everything nice and warm. Uh, they said it was about a week, I think, charge on the battery. But the issue is, is it doesn't work 
when it's charging so the case gets too hot and obviously your thermostat's going to get messed up for like temperature so instead of being 21 it's going to say it's 40 or something because of just the way the temperature probe is and the charging system so the corded works fine for me i'm just going to stick this over here like that put some screws on the back and that's just going to be where it's going to be uh, one issue i've ran into already is i broke the on off switch off i don't know where it went i think that was it well maybe not Okay, I've lost the on off switch, <laughs> but I think I had it off and I think I tried to go farther off and then it just kind of fell off. So a pick works now, but once it's on, it's on. So we're going to get this paired and we're going to get this thing working. All right, so let's start clicking buttons here. So top and bottom one, you get into setting mode. So I think pair mode was something if you want to run two heaters off the same thermostat. Um, I don't want to. Use battery, I don't have one. Fail safe mode, they said leave it on yes. I don't wanna reset anything. Select units, so I've already changed that to Celsius. Um, calibration type, they said keep it at single point. So clone remote, waiting for on, so just waiting for off. Success. Great success. So now we can go to self test mode. Self test success. Self test successful. And nothing's doing its thing. Um, not settings three. You can do calibration. I don't really care for that. And that's just the version. Oh, these two here. So now we're paired. So now. I want to set the temperature, let's say 15 degrees, swing 10. So that should be, it's going to shut off at 15 degrees Celsius and kick on at 5. Actually, let's bump that up a little bit more. So that's that. that heater off schedule off so then if you want to, to turn on you just hold the center button thermal active you can also just go until it's highlighted and then click that but obviously it's 17 degrees in here and my swing is set really high so let's take this outside okay well, i'm a bit of a dummy i'm on a cord so that's not gonna work um but yeah, so I think that's probably everything kind of cool you want to mention. If you hold these two outside ones, that goes into a hold menu. So that's going to be 25 degrees with a swing of five. So that's going to be nice. Well, as you can see, it's kicking on. So you can have the hold menu one as say a working temperature. You're inside the trailer. You want it nice and toasty. I can turn that up. Let's say 30 degrees. Have a nice summer day in here. And then if you want to go back and just keep it above freezing, you just double click that and it goes back to your regular mode. So that's a really nice setting, especially if you have it like a shop or in my case, a work trailer. If you want to be doing work in here, you can get it nice and warm and not have to keep toggling buttons around. I guess one other nice part is, is it saves all your settings. So if you unplug it to move it around, it doesn't lose everything. So you don't have to go back through and do everything again. Um, but anyways, let's see, let's make this work. So it's 20 degrees in here, so let's do a swing of three. It's fair. Well, it's obviously it's kicking on, so that's working. So we'll just wait until it hits 20 and we'll see if it shut off. shuts off. So I got that, or it was pumping away at high there. It just hit 20 degrees. So it was saying heating down there, now it is not, so it's shutting it down. So I should just reiterate, this is just turning the thermostat or the heater on and off. It doesn't actually adjust the hertz or the temperature. So you're gonna have to manually set that on yours over here. And then this is just gonna be simple on off. So 
That's gonna work really nice, I think. I'm gonna get it mounted here. I think a nice distance away from the heater. As you can feel over here is quite hot. And you can see by these gauges, so 24, 25. And yeah, it's definitely not that hot. And I definitely believe that this is probably close to 20 degrees. So it's nice to have it away from the heater. And that way all my aerosols and tools and stuff like that are actually above freezing. All right, so I got that set back down to a reasonable temperature of 15 degrees Celsius, 10 degrees swing. So it should be five and 15. Um, I think it's gonna work pretty slick. So it's not gonna get up out of its temperature range and continue climbing. Uh, I've got a USB power cube, I guess. I don't know what you wanna call it. So I'm gonna run that straight down to my batteries. So it's always got power to it. Um, right now I've got my battery or my double battery underneath here. It goes to my inverter, which is basically 120 and then goes up to this, which brings it back down. So if I hardwire it to the battery, it should have power all the time. Whereas the inverter, I think cuts out at 11 something. So that way I shouldn't have to worry about this getting killed power to it. But other than that, I think that's it. So I definitely think this is worthwhile. I think this was $50 US for the one without the battery and it's 70 with the battery. So it's a little bit more than these, uh, these W1209s, but I think uh, it'll definitely be worthwhile not having to mess around with the temperature range. But anyways, thanks for watching.